Hey, welcome back everyone. Lecture number 53, chemistry, part 11. We just keep going on. All right, today I'm gonna to talk about the concentration of solutions. And in particular, we're just gonna discuss what's called molarity, okay? Molarity. And molarity of a solution is defined to be the number of moles of the solute divided by one liter of solvent. Okay, now I'm going to do a couple of problems for you and let's see how it goes. Okay, so let's watch. I picked an easy compound, sodium hydroxide. Okay, so let's look at sodium hydroxide, NaOH. All right, sodium is plus one, group 1A. The hydroxide ion is minus one. So we need one sodium with one hydroxide polyatomic ion. Uh, periodic table, remember, must have your periodic table. All right, if we look up sodium, sodium has a mass of 23 atomic mass units, oxygen 16, hydrogen one. Hope you're getting to learn a couple of these because we do it so much, oxygen is 16 and so forth. So 23 plus 16 plus one. So the molecular mass or molecular weight, if you're a chemist, of sodium hydroxide is 40 grams. Okay, easy enough. We should be experts on this by now. All right, let's go. Now, a one molar NaOH solution. What does one molar NaOH solution mean? Well, one molar means you put one mole of NaOH, which is 40 grams. We just calculate 40 grams in one liter. But just as I said about coffee and sugar, if I, have, if I take two sugars in a cup of coffee, if I have twice the size of the cup, two cups, instead of two sugars, I'd need four. If I had half a cup, I'd need one sugar to keep the same concentration. Same idea. If there's 40 grams in one liter, that would be the same as 80 grams in two liters. Or 20 grams in half a liter. Just divide in a half. Or 200 grams in five liters. If I multiply 40 times five, I get 200 grams, but then I'd have it in five liters. That would be the same concentration, a 1M, one molar concentration. That would still be one mole in one liter. They're all equivalent to one mole in one liter. Suppose I wanted a 0.5 molar solution of sodium hydroxide. 0.5 molar, 0.5, you take 0.5 times 40. Half of 40 is 20. What if I wanted a 0.3 M solution? Well, take 0.3 times 40, you get 12. What if I wanted a 5 M, five times the concentration? Well, you take five times 40 is 200 grams in one liter. Notice in one liter. So the concentration is five times as much because you're putting five times five moles of sodium hydroxide in one liter. Okay, simple, simple, simple idea. All right, so let's do another one. How many grams of calcium carbonate? Again, I picked an easy compound are needed to make 0.4 liters of a 0.6 molar concentration solution okay so let's first look at calcium carbonate CaCO3 calcium has group 2a wants to give two electrons carbonate polyatomic right wants to take two electrons so one calcium with one carbonate is good uh, calcium carbonate is also what chalk is made of, limestone is made of, okay, so it's a good thing to know, calcium carbonate. It's also a base, it's used in Tums, so it's uh, good for absorbing acid. So if you really have a bad stomach ache and you got nothing around, chew a piece of chalk, it won't kill you, and it'll absorb the acid, all right? All right, so let's see. Let's get the molecular mass or molecular weight of one mole of carbon, uh, 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 calcium carbonate. So calcium, again, if we look up, is 40. Carbon, we hopefully we know, is 12. Oxygen is 16, but we have three of them. So we have 16 plus 16 plus 16 is 48. So 40 plus 48 plus, uh, uh, plus 12 plus 48, 12 plus 48 is what? That's 60 plus 40, so it's 100 grams. So one mole of calcium carbonate is 100 grams. So a 1M solution of calcium carbonate is 100 grams of calcium carbonate in one liter. Okay, I want you to notice that 0.4 liters, you multiply 0.4 times a liter, you get 400 milliliters. A milliliter is a thousandth of a liter. Okay, so if I have one molar solution one mole is 100 grams in one liter a 0.6 molar solution 0.6 concentration you multiply 0.6 times 100 so you get 60 grams in one liter 60 grams in one liter is a 0.6 m solution same as 120 grams in two liters or 180 grams 
in three liters, same ratio, same proportion, or 30 grams, divide in half, in half a liter. Divide that by a half, that by a half, you get 30 grams in half a liter, is also a 0.6 molar solution. All right, so we have 0.6 M solution of calcium carbonate is 60 grams in one liter, but I don't want one liter. I want 400 milliliters, 0.4 liters, okay? So we have to just multiply this number by 0.4. So 60 grams times 0.4, and again, you could divide, multiply and divide by one. So 0.4 over 0.4 is one. We're keeping the concentration the same. So it's still a 0.6 concentration. So if we multiply 0.6 times that, multiply 0.6 times 1 liter, 0.4 uh, times 60, excuse me, is 24 grams. 0.4 times 1 liter is the 400 milliliters. Oops, ml, okay? Milliliters. So the answer then is 24 grams of calcium carbonate in 400 milliliters of solute of solvent gives us a 0.6 m solution and 400 milliliters of it so it would require 24 grams all right one quick quick finishing problem let's see if we can do this how many grams of potassium hydroxide are needed to make 200 milliliters of a 0.8 m solution Okay, so let's go. Potassium hydroxide. Potassium is group one. Hydroxide is OH minus one. Okay, so we have K is plus one, OH is minus one. So we need one potassium with one hydroxide polyatomic. Again, periodic table. Potassium is 39, oxygen 16, hydrogen 1. Add those together. I think we get 56 grams. So 56 grams of potassium hydroxide is one mole. All right. All right. So what about a 0.8 M solution? So if I have, sorry, 56 grams in one liter, that's a 1 M solution. So if I want a 0.8 M solution, you multiply 0.8 times 56, and that gives us 44.8 grams in one liter. You see, 44.8 grams. So that is a 0.8 M solution. That's how many grams you need in one liter. But I don't want one liter, do I? I want 200 milliliters. So I need to take this result and multiply by 0.2 in the numerator and denominator. 0.2 times 44.8 is, I think, 8.96 grams. 0.2 times one liter is 200 milliliters. So we need 8.96 grams of potassium hydroxide in 200 milliliters of solvent to make a 0.8 m concentrated, so 0.8 molar concentrated solution of potassium hydroxide. Okay, so you find the concentration, you, you, you find uh, how many grams you need for a 1 m solution, and then you multiply app uh, appropriately. I just want you to see the shortcut, 200 mLs, 0.8. So when I get the answer for 1 mole, 56 grams, what I've ended up doing is multiplying by 0.2 and multiplying by 0.8. Same thing here. Uh, for the calcium carbonate, I find the mass of 1 mole. I multiply by 0.6, and then I multiply by 0.4. So all these problems are exactly the same. So calculating the concentration or how many grams uh, for a certain uh, uh, volume, a certain amount of uh, solvent, uh, and for a particular concentration is really easy. What you do is you get the molecular mass of one mole of the solute and then you multiply by whatever the concentration, 0.6 or 6M or whatever it is, and then how many milliliters or how many liters I want, multiply by that. Okay, so these are liquid solutions, and that's pretty much where we want to go with that. Not too much in detail, okay? So that's good enough for now. That's it. Be safe. Peace. Review this because I love these problems. Take care of yourself. Ciao.